All right, everybody should have the math test. Uh, make sure you find it. It looks like this. It says chapter test form 3B. Don't confuse it with 3A, which was the, the pre-test. Okay. All right. Now, I took out part one because I didn't really like that way of doing mental math for subtraction. I liked doing this kind of thinking that we're going to do, but numbers four, five, and six are all going to be worth bonus points to show your thinking. Okay. Now, I'm going to explain this so that it'll make sense to you. Okay. Um, and it should, hopefully, you can think back to when we were still together and we did this in class. We were like using our brain just to figure stuff out, but we wrote down what our brain was thinking. And that's what I'm going to have you do here. Okay. Now, let's pretend that if on number three, I had 55 minus 27. Okay. Now, this is, I'm going to show you an example of what you how you can do this to get the bonus points. This section, if you get it wrong or don't do it, it won't hurt you on this test. It will only help you. That's what bonus means. It means that if you do it right, I'll give you extra points. If you don't do it right, nothing will happen. So it's worth trying at least to do it. All right, so here's an example of what you would do for one of these. If this was the problem, just like it's written here, first I want you to show me the problem standing up and down because it's easier to think of this way. Now remember, the idea was that we were trying to make this number and this number the same so that when we subtract, we would automatically know that there's a zero here. To make this match the five, I have to take two away from the 27, don't I? Now my problem is 55 minus 25. Well, that's fairly easy to do in our head because we purposely made it so we knew we would be a 0 here. And 5 minus 2 is just 3. But now, because we took away these two, we're not taking away enough. So I have to take those two away as well. And when I do that, I end up with 28. So my answer would be 28. Now, when I grade 4, 5, and 6, I'm going to look to see, did you show me mentally what we could do to solve this problem? Okay, and you can just write that information over here. I'll be able to figure out which one is which because I can see the numbers. All right? Okay, so that's how you're going to do part one. If you take the chance... Okay, you can get some bonus points. Even if you do it a little bit right, I might give you a couple points. Okay, This next part is the estimating part, where you're going to round each one to the place that's given. Okay, I changed this one. It wanted you to do it to the nearest 10. But that's silly. So we're doing it to the nearest 100. All right. Then, on the next page... It says to subtract, and this is where I want to, you to show me your work. And to make it easier for you, I did like I did on the last test, and I made them all on the back side. So you can just do them here and leave that other part blank, and you don't need to write anything there. Okay, But show me all of your work, because you'll get points for showing me all your regrouping. All right? Then the last, if I can find it, the last section is the word problems. As you do them, remember, look for the word about to see if you're going to be estimating or look to see if it's a yes-no question to see if you can estimate. If it doesn't say that and it just asks you for the answer, then just do the actual problem okay, and give me the real number. Read the questions carefully. They will be similar to the ones that you did the other day, but not exactly always the same. Okay? Then make sure you label your answer. You know how usually when we do these tests and you give them to me, I look at them and I hand them back and I say, you need to label things. Well, now I'm doing it right away. Label your answers. Tell me, is it money? Is it dollars that we're talking about? Is it dogs? Is it donuts? What is it? 
that's in the problem. So label your answers. All right. That's all you're doing today is taking the test, and then you'll give that to me on Wednesday when you get to school. All right. Do your best.